Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. And just to prove that I'm not totally against newfangled inventions, I use one of these. Take care of that instead of scissors. Because I don't think I'm that good. Anyway, there we go. Well, as I said, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. On a Friday night. And uh, we're working the overnight tonight. We're gonna get get things cleaned up here. We were off a day and uh, took full advantage of it. Look at this. We're gonna get us a growth, and we're gonna use the good old uh, made in India here, Parker. Since 1973, it says on here, stainless steel made in India, the Parker SRX. Really nice, heavy uh, razor. Uses the uh, it's a shade straight. Use a single half of a double edge. I was digging around and decided it was going to be a tobacco night. But we got the tobacco out with, uh, with the, uh, what is this? This is an Ever Ready, Ever Ready 200 handle with a golden nib. One of the first brushes I ever uh, put a knot in right there. So that's going to be what we're going to do tonight and finish it up with some boosters, Oriental Spice. So we got a uh, razor is made in uh, India. Aftershave from Canada and uh, soap from uh, Germany. Oh, well, yeah. Kind of international thing tonight. We're going to get the uh, get the good old uh, wipe down going on there. That's easy enough. All right. Let's get some tobacco going now. Tobacco is one of those things, as we've said a million times before. That you either love it or you hate it. Uh, the scent that is. No, I don't ever heard anybody complain about the lather from tobacco. And the scent is either love it or hate it. It is not a tobacco store scent. I guess it's a tobacco flower scent maybe. I don't know. I would did some work one winter, or a couple of winters actually, in uh, North Carolina. Driving a cotton truck for a gin. But the uh, tobacco wasn't blooming at the time. There was ice and snow everywhere. But, uh, so I don't know if that's what it is or what. But anyway, whatever it is, I think it's a big old bucket of German goodness myself. But there's folks that don't agree with that. Of course, there's folks that don't like the scent of Arco and uh, Williams. They don't even want to try the soap or whatever because of the scent. Scent has nothing to do with performance, but I realize that, you know, if you have skunk scented so you probably wouldn't be real fond of that. I get it. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think it smells bad, but like I said, a lot of people do. All right. As usual, there is no problems with getting a lather out of the tobacco. Nice warm water. I still feel sorry for uh, you cold water shaving folks. People with that particular affliction. Y'all some good people, some of you. But I just, you know, maybe they got pills for that. You know, like people that want to shim razors and that crowd that wants to bloom soap. Maybe maybe they got meds for that. I don't know. I hadn't checked into that. They got meds for everything else. Why not that? Alright, and as usual, we're going to start out with my normal straight razor type razor disclaimer that uh, this is how I do it other people do it different other people do it better than me people that shave or straight razors all the time do a whole lot better job of it than me that don't do it all the time if I was not such a big fan of real razors single edge and injectors uh, I would probably be a straight razor guy but as it is I am a big fan of those so I'm not so Really good skin stretching is really important. And skin stretching to me is just important with other razors, although I don't uh, practice it all the time. But if you have issues, skin stretching is a really good thing. But with either 
actual straight razors. Or these disposable blade open razors. Either one. Uh, thin stretching is very... Very important. You want a good flat, taut surface to drag a blade over. I am not ambidextrous enough, although I have done it. I am not ambidextrous enough to shave with both hands, so I simply use the uh, backhand method here. And since I'm wearing my glasses, there are a few places where it's almost like I'm shaving blind. And you're going to make a lot of funny faces. Because you use the cheek blow. You use that in places to stretch the skin out. Another neat thing is you're going to learn to pull skin like this. You can pull it up from your jowl, pull it up to where you have right there. Now I have a nice flat surface that I can run the razor down. Just like a dot. Not much to it, eh? Look at how much stuff we've already knocked off. See, I got a little, little spot right there. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead since I see that spot. I'm going to run back on that spot. And that, when you're going back to get just that little hair that's loose of it, that's when you're going to cut yourself. Also remember when you're doing this, that if the razor feels like it's fixing to bite you, stop. Because uh, they will bite you. They bite quicker and harder. One of these type razors will bite you quicker and harder than an actual razor. Um, Straight razor wheel, in my opinion. And I've had a lot of people echo that sentiment. So if you feel like you're fixing to get bit, you probably are. And you need to stop what you're doing and reevaluate. Another thing about these is that you don't need to be real hesitant. If you're sitting there and you're hesitant and you're picking up and putting down and picking up and putting down, you're probably going to be uh, tenderizing your face in places. Not as good as it sounds to tenderize your face. It's not like moisturizing where people say it's a good thing, although <laughs> I fuzzy don't moisturize as you can tell. Anyway, all right, there's the first pass. Here comes the second pass. Now, generally speaking, when I use an open blade, I only do two passes. It's not always, as you've seen, a uniform across the grain, you know, with the grain across the grain the way it is with a real razor. It doesn't always work that way. Sometimes with one of these, it's just getting the blade across the skin without cutting yourself and cutting the hairs. A lot of times, that's the name of the game. So, uh, I don't always... get to go a particularly now I do kind of try as I'm going across to go different angles if I went one way one direction I do try but it doesn't always work that way because I don't always uh, you know it just always don't happen That right there was fixing to be a, a mess up. Right there, everything got really loose all of a sudden. And that's up in there to where with these plastic glasses on. It's kind of hard to get anyway. There you go. That's kind of what I think about it. What else is going on? I haven't looked outside. I was out running some errands earlier. I'm the type that uh, if my cupboard 
gets to looking a little bare. If there's too much space in my cupboard, I don't like it. I get kind of nervous about it. Don't remember ever going hungry a day in my life. Pretty sure I didn't. But I just, uh, I'm just enough of the survivalist type, I guess, that that really, really bothers me. So yesterday, I went out and spent what for me is a bunch of money on groceries. Now probably most people, especially people with a family, going out and spending a couple of hundred dollars on groceries and household supplies, you know, cleaning stuff and all this kind of stuff is probably not as big a deal. For an old single guy, Pretty big deal. Kind of, uh, you know, first my feelings. But I did. Now there's not as much space in the culverts and I feel a little bit better. All right. So that's our two passes with the open blade. I think that's where we're going to stop. You can go back and try for more and buff this area and buff that area and do this and do that and you're going to end up you know tenderizing your face maybe i should have a t-shirt fuzzy says don't tenderize your face yeah. i don't know what would a fuzzy t-shirt say on it what would be a good catchy slogan i hear you half spray we're gonna go walking what would be a good catchy slogan for a fuzzy t-shirt I want one that says horse feathers. And that's what I think about most of the stuff going on. I tell you what, that is not, look at that. We got rid of all that stuff, knocked it down nice and smooth. There's a chance it could be a little smoother right under here. There's also a chance, like I just said, that we ain't gonna go back and try. This is gonna do for tonight just fine. Just fine. So if you have an idea for a fuzzy slogan, Put it in the comments. We'll see. All right, there we go. Okay, you folks that were waiting for stuff to be mailed out, you should have got your texts and your emails. And finally, finally, Fuzzy got to the uh, post office today. And believe it or not, you can believe it, you cannot believe it, whatever. Actually use the uh, self-serve kiosk thing to weigh everything and measure everything and print out the postage and everything. I actually did that all on my own at a self-service kiosk. Yeah, this guy did that right here. I tell you what, we went and knocked that right on out. There's an old woman works in that place and I don't like to get, try to get along with, so I just went to the kiosk. Anyway, we won't mention that part. So there we go. So that's what we're doing tonight. I don't know what you're doing tonight. Hopefully it's Friday night wherever you are and you're doing good. But, uh. And a little bit of next thing, which is what I expect from an active shave after one of those shades. However, I do not really see any irritation. I don't really feel any irritation. If I did think there was some irritation, we could always go with the witch hazel first and then uh, then put the after shave over it, but didn't need it. I see one little spot where maybe it's going to be a really, 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 really small weeper. But as you look to see it's somewhere down there, can't really tell, can you? Maybe right there just a little bit, but I don't think it's going to turn into anything. There we go, the Parker SRX. Now this is what I would say is one of my favorites of the Shavette styles. Remember, there's only one real Shavette. That's the Dovo. I have one, I like it. It's very light though, and not everybody likes that. This, uh, the Parker, the SRX is easy to load. It's heavier, it gives you more of an approximate feeling of an actual uh, genuine straight razor. A lot of people like that. I think it's okay, uh, I'm of the same feeling with these straight razors as I am the other razors, I don't think weight has a whole lot of difference on how things work. Next time I'll break out the Camasori style. I've got one, but uh, I, it needs a blade and I'm not exactly 100% sure right this second where those blades are and I wasn't going to take time to go find them. So we use the Parker instead. Next time we'll use the Camasori, which is the Japanese style straight razor if you want to look it up. And we'll see. All right, well, that's it for tonight. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you. Look at that. Look how good that worked. Man, it don't get any smoother than that. Tell me. Well, if I ever get, you know, shot down behind enemy lines and all I got to shave with is a straight razor to get the old beard off and 
I'm gonna be able to handle that right there. But uh, if you haven't tried straight razor shaving, give it a go. Uh, take the blade out of one of these. You can sit there and play with it and learn the different angles and everything. Maybe you can learn to use both hands. I never really tried that hard because I do just fine with one hand. Truth or not about the matter. All right, well, there you go. Well, once again, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you.